And the rhetoric has been strong, with several top Western politicians saying the referendum in Crimea is unconstitutional. This despite the West's stated commitment to promoting democracy and self-determination to scores of nations in the past. Polly Boyko reports. You don't have to look back far to see how the US and their Western partners have at times encouraged referendums and secessionist splits. The referendum on self-determination. Self-determination. Right to speak their language. Be recognized by more nations around the world. Shape their daily lives. Determine their own future. Must take place. Like when Kosovo voted to carve itself out of Serbia in 2008. This is what the birth of a nation looks like. Thank you, Europe. Thank you, America. Thank you, Great Britain. In fact, the U.S. backed Kosovo's independence two years before the U.N. judged it was legal and, in doing so, set the precedent. Then, after a long and bloody conflict in Sudan, a referendum saw half the country break away in 2011 to create the world's newest country, South Sudan. The realization of this historic day is a testament to tireless efforts of the people of South Sudan in their search for peace. The U.S. set up its embassy in the new capital of Juba that very same day. Just last year, off the coast of Argentina, the people of the Falkland Islands voted overwhelmingly to remain British. Here's David Cameron consoling the Argentinian president. I wanted to raise it specifically with the Argentine president and say it's important that everyone pays attention to this referendum. So I think it was the right thing to do. Again, in Britain, over 300 years of union could all end this September. Scotland's being allowed to vote on whether to leave the union. The Prime Minister says it's up to Scots to decide their future. Yet for all the talk of self-determination, Crimea's referendum has been denounced as illegal by the G7 group of the world's biggest economies. The US has sent fighter jets close to Russia, deploying them in Poland and Lithuania. It's also preparing sanctions along with the EU. So when it comes to self-determination or territorial integrity, your guess is as good as anybody's in predicting which way international powers will side. The biggest clue is whether it fits their own interests. Well, we're about to see how John Kerry and William Hague will try to prove their point on Crimea, but when it comes to opinion, the public's thoughts in Europe sometimes differ from what their elected representatives think is best. 